All right, Zom 100, episode four. This one is called Flight Attendant of the Dead. Remember to check out that Patreon if you guys want early access or the uncut versions of all reactions on the channel. Please leave a like on a video or a comment. It really does help boost the channel and the algorithm. I appreciate y'all immensely. Let's hop right into today's episode. Let's do it. He's sharing his bucket list. A flight attendant is very specific, right? Right, we're only at 33. Hey, it's a good start, though. Hey, sure. I like it. Stand-up comic. I mean, it is just on 100 bucket list of the dead. This is everyone's list. Facts. Consider me along for the ride. Anything you do to cross off your list, I'm there for. I fuck with Kensho. Bro. I love how they still treat this like normal things and tasks and opportunities they need to do, you know, even though they're in a zombie apocalypse. Hmm. There's always some zombie driver of some truck. Yeah, you guys are beyond dead. Oh, he's thinking of her and her quick thinking. She did have amazing thinking. Oh, gotta put on the goggles, be a badass. Come on. Come on, lock in. He's locked. It's like we're playing chicken. You gotta turn to the last second, go right to dodge it. Dodge the tire? Gonna go off the car as a ramp? Oh my god, their life is a movie! Imagine getting hit by a flying spare head. Bro, that was so dope. Okay. Ikebukuro. Follow the scent of TVs. I like how he slides under there on some... On some Indian... Indiana Jones shit. And I've said it since episode one. I love the colorful paint esque of their blood. Oh, someone's here. More survivors, girls? You get a date? Is that a dude? I see a dude. Well, these are honeys. No, we got some honeys up in here. <laughs> Look, at Look at Akira. I'm drunk. Some drunk, attractive ladies during a zombie apocalypse is a recipe for naughty stuff to happen. Double date, group date, or whining and dining? It does a little bit. We got the snacks, we got the drinks, we got the zombie apocalypse. Everyone goes whining and dining on the zombie apocalypse. This guy's still Mr. Paranoid Pete. Reka, Aki, Yukari. I'll get their names during editing. That was a little fast for me. They were in LA. They were in America. Oh, how did I not even put two and two together? The the actual fate has been answered. They're flight attendants. Whining and tining. Check this off the list. As you get ring back into reality. Yeah, can you blame him? Yeah, a little mistimed. He's gaming. You know him. That man's got the charm. Once a week, no biggie. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Now you gotta prove him wrong. Come on. Gotta lock in, dig deep. See the lightning in his eyes? Okay. Drinking tequila is one thing. Snorting tequila? No girl in her wildest dreams could make me snort tequila.
外と盛り上がった Yeah, that would be me all night. Last time I had a lot of tequila, I was the most I've ever thrown up in a night. And I have not been that drunk ever since. Yukari, that's her name, right? Helping him throw up? That's very considerate of her. Oh, this dude's infected the whole time? I was just about to be happy for Akira. He might, he might actually... You know, be able to secure that bag and not fumble it. Oh, as he's gonna eat her coochie like a zombie. I don't know whether to be happy for Kensho, worried about Akira, worried about it. Fucking, what's her name? I'll just go right back to throwing up. Some girls are just genuinely nice. They're not flirting. Yes. Sometimes you gotta learn that the hard way. She's a... Genuinely sweet person. She got that zombie coochie. Was that bottle through her cheek? Bro. That was our fucking girl. Not the luggage beat down. Damn. A borrowed dream. I bet you there are a lot of people like that, you know? You don't gotta do everything your parents want, your friends want. Do what you want, you know? Right? Facts. Make it yours. Make the world you want to live in. Is she gonna get fucked up by homeboy? Don't kill her too, I actually like her. Oh, R.I.P. Oh no. He's such a good person too. That's one thing that I like about the show very, very much is that it takes your typical scenario of a zombie apocalypse where you don't necessarily need to add tension or suspense to the story because it's naturally built into the environment. No matter where you go, there's always that looming possibility of death. But this one plays it in more of a satirical One Punch Man style of parody of it, where that's what allows us to be free. We enjoy that. We can now do whatever and whatever we want. But you still do get rung into the reality of this world, and it does come back to the classic. And I love how it switches between both, you know? Like, not necessarily, like, in a divisive way. It merges the both very seamlessly and very well. And Akira, who's that fun-loving want to be happy guy is a great guy and genuinely feels bad when stuff like this happens because now she's dead there's there's nothing you can do sadly there's literally it's sad horribly sad and i've done my fair share of saying goodbye to characters during the walking dead just like this you know that's a nice callback That gives me, like, Uraraka vibes from my hero. I like that. Shout out you, Yukari. I only knew you for literally half an episode, but I really enjoyed you. And you could tell it's hella sad for Akira as well. As she pushes him to go get going, and she uses her own body as a shield, as she knows he's gonna munch on her. That was a visualization right there. I got goosebumps. I really do, actually. I, it's That's sad as hell. We found the widescreen TV. See? As they cut back to the other side, the parody funness, this is what we wanted to do. This is the whole reason we came here, right? And we're right back to gaming, right back to grilling. 
right? <laughs> Wine and dining and flight attendant had a quite the outcome. It looks a little different, Akira, after that experience. He's thinking more about his dreams, about the borrow dream he had, about enjoying life, what that means to enjoy your life. You know, what is contentness? What is happiness? He's going to add something to his list. What is it? Find my own dream. Find something I want to do, I'm assuming. Remember. I love that. I love that. I'm living. As he in passionately goes back into the I'm I see. That was such a great episode for a number of reasons. I love that. So I know I said it during the episode itself, but I just absolutely love that duality aspect of the show, how it cuts from the funny. This is the reason why we are able to now enjoy our life earlier. Our past life was the horrible life to Oh wait, even though this is the reason we can enjoy our lives now, there's still this is still a horrible tragedy and people are dying because of this. So I love that duality. I love that dichotomy. And I love this show so far because of not only that, there's that, there's the plot, the animation is great, the music is great, the visual storytelling, the artistic creativity that they do, fantastic. We still haven't even met up with the other girl or I got in a group with our first girl we met, so I'm very curious. I was low-key hoping that those girls would stay around for at least an episode, but it makes sense that they didn't. The impact they had in that short amount of time was insane. I damn, I am very curious. I cannot wait to watch more. Thoroughly enjoyed these episodes. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to click that bell, call that jazz. Uh, check out that Patreon, early access, full length, all that jazz. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.